Good night, 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 you are saying end the violence now and you are still showing the world that God can do something for the community of Joshua. Yes. I don't know about you but I'm excited about what God is going to do for us. I don't know about you but I know that your presence here tonight says that you want a change in your community. So if you want a change in your community, join with me by saying end it now. Let's go. End it now. End it now. We are ending the violence. We are ending the crime. We are ending hatred. We are ending backbiting. And we are going to invite love in our community. I say we are going to invite love in our homes. And we are going to invite Jesus in our lives tonight. In order for us to have change in Judge Song, we need to have change in our lives. In order for us to see a difference in our community, Jesus needs to be in our homes. And so tonight, if Jesus is not in your home, you are at the right place and at the right time. Because we are going to pray tonight for the soul who wants to say yes to Jesus. We are going to pray tonight for a change to go on in this community. Because as Seventh-day Adventist Church, we have realized that crime is taking over St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Violence is snatching our young people away. And when you look around, we are losing our young men day by day and it is time for us to say violence should not be a place in Georgetown crime should not be taking place in this sugar city because we are loving people we are people who care and we are a people who share and so tonight the church is making a stand against violence in Georgetown in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Because too often we see things happening and we are not hearing enough from the churches. And the churches were placed in communities to make a difference. The churches were placed in communities to sound the love cry and to tell of the message of the soon coming Redeemer. And too often we are not hearing enough from the churches. But the Georgetown Seventh-day Adventist Church is making a stand tonight. The Georgetown Seventh-day Adventist Church, we are making our voices heard and we are crying aloud and we are saying the violence must stop. It has to stop in this community. And so we are not just saying it in the church, but we are inviting the youth of the community. And we are so happy that the Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Force has decided to partner with us as we partner with them. Because we recognize that in order for us to send a message, we must collaborate with other stakeholders. And that is why we join forces with the police and we join forces with other religious denominations around the community because together we are saying that Jesus must be seen and heard in the community of Georgetown. So tonight this is just a beginning. This is just the beginning of what will come here in this community. And we realize that we need to stand in support with our sister, with a family who have lost their loved ones. Death is not an easy tragedy to go through. It is a very lonely road to walk. And we don't just want to leave our sister and her family by themselves. 
but it said your presence here tonight is saying that you are standing with the family. And we say thank you. We say thank you for doing so. And I'm pretty sure that the family is feeling so much love in this community by your support here tonight. And so tonight we are saying to you, we are letting you know that we want to have some plans for our young people in the community of Georgetown. We want to form a strong youth group at the Georgetown Seventh-day Adventist Church so we can come out and minister to other young people in the community of Georgetown. We want to see how we can create some form of employment for you as well to let you know that all hope is not lost, to let you know that you can rise above your situation and poverty is not going to be your final destination because Jesus has a lot in store for you. Jesus owns everything here, but we can access it only if we ask Jesus. So we want you to be bold enough to ask and you shall receive according to the riches of glory in Jesus Christ tonight. And so tonight we just encouraging you, if you want a special prayer tonight, we are going to be praying for you, we are going to be praying with you, and we are standing in support here tonight, and we are saying no to violence. We are saying end it now. And we are saying that Jesus must be seen Jesus must be heard and love must reign in the community of Joshua. Would you say amen to Jesus tonight? So the call is going to go forward. We don't ever present a message without making a call. Because you have to make a decision for Jesus tonight. Now I want to see all the hands who want to see a difference in the community of Georgetown. Amen. If you want to see a difference in Georgetown, put up your hand. Hands are going up. I want to let you know tonight, the change starts with you. The change starts with you saying that you want a difference. The change starts with you saying that you want Jesus in your life. The change starts by you saying yes to Jesus. And if you want to say yes to Jesus tonight, let me see you put your hands in the air. You are saying yes to Jesus. You are saying you are going to put all to the Savior Jesus Christ. And that is your plan for tonight. God sees your hand. He sees your hands. And we're just going to have a special prayer tonight. You are here. You are with us. You are hearing my voice. Just bow your heads. Let me say a word of prayer for you tonight, Father and God. You have seen the hands that are saying to you that they need a change in their life. Father God, the change begins with them accepting you as their personal Lord and Savior. Tonight, oh God, we invite you into their lives, God. You saw the hands, God. You know their hearts. Bless them according to your riches and glory. Bless them according to your love and kindness. And may your grace and your mercy run after them, God. May your grace and your mercy plead with them, Jesus. And by the grace and your mercy and your love, they too shall be changed. They too shall receive a salvation from you. And we can go on and on and say that had it not been for the goodness of God, where would we be? We thank you, God, for your presence. And we say thank you for tonight. And we bless your holy name in Jesus' name. And let all of God's people say, Amen. Amen.